One of the areas that we wanna work on when we're talking about improving your hip mobility is stretching your quads and your hip flexors. Now, our quad muscles, we have four different muscles making up our quads. The ones that typically get tight, this is bigger quad on the outside, your vastus lateralis, and your rectus femoris, this quad in the middle that attaches at your hip joint and also your knee joint. Now, to start stretching our quads, we'll start people with this half kneeling hip flexor mobilization. With this, our goal is just to work on controlling your pelvis, being able to kind of tuck your pelvis back, pull that belt line up, to really be able to stretch those muscles in the front side of your hip. So once we get that tuck, we'll put the hands on your knee, we can exhale, give a little rock forward to increase that stretch, inhale, rock back, making sure we maintain that tuck. Now that muscle we talked about that crosses the hip and the knee joint, to stretch that even more, we can do a rear foot elevated variation where we're putting the back foot on the stand, doing that same tuck and that same exhale and rock forward. So now we're stretching that quad at the hip joint because we're tucking and at the knee joint because we're elevated on this stand. Now our final progression, we can go over to the wall for a wall hip flexor mobilization where that hand's gonna be in the wall. We're doing that same hip tuck. Now to drive more of a stretch through the quad, your hand's grabbing that back foot. We're doing the same exhale, the same rock forward. So if we're trying to improve our hip mobility, we wanna stretch our quads and hip flexors, give those three a try.